So what we're going to show now is what are some of the ways that you can log a risk or an issue or lessons learned. Um, one of the cool ways we're going to show is by conversation. So if yeah. if someone were to bring up a just in conversation, you see something, hey, this should be uh, marked as a list that or marked as a risk, then you actually get contextual power automates based on this conversation. There we go to create risk. And so this is power automate using a an adaptive form to where it's prompting for some additional information um, about that to, to get the risk. What did you click on to get on here on this screen? Um, I'll show you. I'll, I'll do you it again. Right after it this. again, right? I could. Yep. Let me just finish it. <laughs> we could offer additional descriptions if we wanted, okay. but it does take the text from the original message. So the way to initiate this is there's an ellipses here on the conversation. Oh yeah. And we have a couple of different options. So once these power wow. automates are in your system, then you will get these options as well. So that's really so, cool. So that's that's while you're in course of having a conversation, you can just say, I need to throw this over as a risk or an issue or lessons learned or the different categories it could go into. And it's it's going to pop that form. And then you just finish filling out that information goes right in. So at the top of the conversation, one of the things that we said was, we're trying to make it easier for people to get information in as just in course of doing their work. And this looks like it just does it. I mean, just right. It just did it. You, yeah. You don't even miss a beat, right? You're just having a conversation literally takes an extra 10 seconds to get it in there. And one of the things that we've heard customers say over and over again is an issue in risk management is getting people to do it is tough, right? Cause you have to go into each project site. And even if you're using a tool like project online you have or, to go an open Excel project document. or an Excel document or whatever, um, which is a different set of problems, right? Because now Excel is everywhere and it may not be a single source of truth. But even with Project Online, there's no, you can do a report to pull them all out and look at them in one place, but you can't manipulate them all in one place. So um, so you're getting them in very easily here. And then I think you're going to show something in a minute that's uh, how you can actually manipulate them all in one place as well. Yeah. Yes. Well, and, and the power about this, right, is let's say I'm a project manager and Brian and Sean are discussing something. Maybe they don't realize it's an important thing. Maybe they don't think it's a risk. Maybe they don't think it's an issue. So they're not logging it. That's that's fine, but they're having a discussion around it. And me as a PM, I'm gonna go, oh, that seems that seems important. I want to put that up there. Wow. And I, I don't have wow. to, I don't I don't have to lose track of it and go to different screens and copy and paste and do all this stuff. I just add it. That's really powerful stuff, guys. I mean, you basically created the equivalent of the like button for a risk in an issue, right? <laughs> so essentially, you know, just in that course of that conversation, which is which is centralized, and that conversation, you know, unless you were using Teams, would never have been centralized. It would have been, you know, hallway conversation or somewhere in an email. And now, because that's in the threaded discussion in Teams, you escalating that right to an issue and then editing the details from there, with like one click that's really amazing i love that and from the beginning of my the beginning of this you're not leaving teams mm -hmm.